Welcome back guys. First, I just want to say that the versatility of this light bulb changer is going to save you a lot of money. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that for you. First, we want to talk about a standard threaded pole. And this is a standard threaded pole. You find these in your local department store where you would find mops or brooms. If you happen to need a threaded pole that is much heavier duty, for instance, if you have a vaulted ceiling or something that's very far in the air, you can also find in your paint supply section at your local hardware store a heavier duty version that will look something like this. But if you don't want to spend the money to go and buy a threaded pole, first just check around the house. You very well may have one already. Many mops such as this come on a threaded pole already. You just take your mop head off and you have a pole. So then if, once you have your threaded pole, how do you install your light bulb changer on the pole? Extremely simple. You'll notice in the end of it, there is a threaded portion made out of silicone. You take your threaded pole, you simply screw it in. It'll take you five seconds to do. Then take your thumb screw here, tighten it down just to make sure it doesn't come off and voila, you're done. That simple. Now, what if you don't have a threaded pole? What should you do? Well, then your next option is to use either a broomstick, a mop handle, or just a regular piece of PVC pipe. If you want to use a piece of PVC pipe, you'll need a half inch or 22 millimeter piece of PVC pipe. So what you do is this. You will take the piece of silicone that I showed you a moment ago that's in the end and you simply remove it. You take the thumb screw, unscrew it, take it out, take your piece of silicone, it pops right out. Take your broom handle or your PVC pipe, insert it, it'll fit very nicely. Take your thumb screw, you'll put it right back in, tighten it down for you, and again, that simple, you're all done. You're ready to go. So this way, you haven't had to spend any extra money. One more way that having this light bulb changer will save you a little bit of money. Well, once you've attached your light bulb changer to the pole, it's time to change your light bulb. But first, make sure you have some form of eye protection. Always remember, safety first. Now, I wanna point out a couple of features of the light bulb changer so you'll know how easy it is when you're actually changing your light bulb. First, you're going to see here an adjustable grip. Now, this grip simply slides up and down. That makes the difference depending on the size of bulb you have. So if you have a small bulb, you slide your grip up. It makes it a much tighter and you can handle small bulbs easily. If it's a larger bulb, you slide your grip back. You have more room. Or if it's a very large bulb, you can even take the grip off completely. Very simple and easy to do. I do want to point out one more thing. Notice you do have to have enough room for your grip on the light bulb changer when you're installing your light bulb. So you need to make sure that whatever socket or fixture has at least a half inch space around it for the light bulb changer to fit into so that it can firmly grab your light bulb and remove it for you. To make it easier for you, we're going to make videos for each specific type of light bulb. And then you can choose the video that matches your bulb type. 